What's up, guys? This is Jason here. Uh, if you watch me on uh, YouTube here, it's going to be Clay for him. That's my username. Uh, I'm doing a uh, quick review on the TV C702 model. Uh, it's, is uh, obviously, as most people uh, know, this is um, imported from China. Uh, this is a quad band GSM phone. Um, just kind of an amateur at the whole review thing, so just bear with me here. Uh, it's 850, 900, uh, 1800 to 1900 megahertz. Uh, it is dual SIM. Um, uh, it also has the uh, TV um, TV mode, um, which is not uh, digital. This is analog, so if you guys are looking at purchasing one of these off of eBay or something, uh, buyers beware. Uh, so, I've already unboxed it um, and have used it for uh, probably like two, three weeks now. Uh, and uh, um, I uh, decided to kind of put away uh, my Trio. Just wanted to give you guys an idea of my Trio 650. Uh, it's pretty nice. Um, it's got the SD slot here. I think it's uh, can hold up to four. Uh, excuse me, two gigs. Uh, but I have a four gig stick, um, so I'm only utilizing uh, two gig of that. Um, it's pretty nice. So I kind of put this aside for a little while and decided to go with the uh, TV uh, C702 model uh, quad quad band GSM phone. So like I said, uh, I'll go ahead and get right to the review here. Uh, you guys can ask any questions you like. Uh, it's just a little bit of, uh, I don't know, I've just kind of been in technology for a little while um, into more computer stuff than anything. Uh, but uh, I'm kind of spinning off on the cell phones. I probably had just about a dozen cell phones within the last year, uh, 2008. Uh, so it's the end of the year. I figured I might as well do a review on one of the phones that literally completely sucked. And that was a quad band GSM uh, TVC702 model. Uh, now as you can see, the outside of the box is very decorative. You know, uh, you got your you got your uh, information here on the back. Um, it's a 13 inch QVGA handwritten touchscreen. It sounds really nice. Um, super long uh, time battery power, efficient chip, uh, 3.2 mil uh, million pixel camera, ultra long BCR horizontal shooting mode support, handwritten and keyboard dual input. So it's got it's got a lot of cool uh, little features in there, and that's kind of what reeled me in, if you will. Um, like again, I'm I'm saying I'm really not. Uh, all that happy with this model. Now uh, I'm going to go ahead and unbox it for you. Once again, here's the outside. Hope you guys are getting this. Uh, so here's the uh, unboxing. Comes with a little booklet. Surprisingly, it is in English. Very, very surprising. A little user's guide here. Um, and then again, uh, the uh, device is in here. So we'll go ahead and uh, open that up. It kind of flips up here. And like I said, uh, I've, I've already opened this model before. So, you know, it's pre-opened. They give you an extra battery. Um, and here's the phone here. And again, the uh, extra battery. So they give you two. It's kind of panorama over here. Move this out of the way here. So they give you two batteries. And here's the, uh, the other battery here. Um, uh, they do give you a headphone input kit, uh, headphone uh, jack, which apparently is not in the box. Um, and then here is the phone. Now, I don't know if you folks are seeing this, I'm going to go ahead and turn the light on for better uh, lighting. But if you see right here in the corner, that looks like a camera. That is freaking fake piece of junk. 
Um, it's definitely not 3.2 megapixel, as it says on the back there. Um, it's just, all in all, an okay phone. Back opens up. There's your dual SIM slot here. Um, micro SD. Kind of nice little feature there. Comes standard on most phones these days, so really shouldn't be all that surprised. I'll go ahead and boot it up. I'm sure there's battery life left in this piece of junk. Again, I'm not very happy with it, and I'll show you why in just a moment here. Um, kind of show you the TV mode and and uh, all that it has to offer here. So we'll go ahead and uh, power it on, see if it powers up. If we're lucky, it'll power up. So, here we go. Uh, it's saying insert SIM. I got menu options here. A whole bunch of stuff. The volume. The volume, there is like almost no way of turning down the volume aside from putting it on ring vibe. Um, TV, again, you know, in February, I'm sure you've all heard this TV thing is going to switch on over to from uh, analog to digital. Whole different format. But here's the TV tuner here. And I write like that. And uh, it's got a little built in TV. Um, buttons are fairly comfortable. Uh, you got your uh, send button, your disconnect button, and your power off button. And uh, they still help you choose between different menus here. Center button there. Uh, you've also got your uh, your standard uh, phone buttons there down at the bottom. Uh, it is again touch screen, so I can you know touch the screen obviously. Um, uh, what else? Do, 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 do. It does have a stylus. Stylus is kind of small, but I mean it can work. Whatever. Um, just to let you know, you know, I uh, transitioned from the trio onto this for a little while. Uh, so all in all, it seemed like a pretty decent phone, aside from the fact that I can't turn down the volume. Um, I didn't really do any research on it to understand that uh, it was uh, an analog television. Uh, the, the sales guy kind of talked me into buying it. Stupid me went ahead and purchased it. So now I have a phone where the TV will not work after February <laughs> of 2009. <laughs> so how ridiculous is that? Um, anyway, aside from that, um, your power supply, or your power adapter I should say, will plug into the side here. You just kind of pull that aside there. And uh, it plugs right in here. Uh, and nailed down to the gritty and dirty here. Um, here it goes. The power supply is made completely, I mean, it is extremely cheap. Extremely cheap. This is what happened to my power supply. I paid 100 bucks for this phone. Just because I wanted to see what the hell I had in store for me. And I have a broken phone. Now I'm sure I can, hopefully... With that kind of attachment, I don't know if you guys can see that clarity on the camera here ain't that great, um, but yeah, hopefully I can find an adapter that plugs into the side there and then sell it, sell the phone. So anybody who's interested in me, uh, in, in the phone, I, I mean, uh, you guys can feel free to uh, shoot me a message here on, uh, on YouTube or any other... Uh, website I'm broadcasting this on. Um, so yeah, pretty much this is this is it. Piece of junk phone. Um, it's really nice uh, display. I don't know what the resolution is on it. Again, um, buyers beware. This is definitely something that I wouldn't consider purchasing again. <laughs> um, and that is my uh, first uh, first and only review on this type of uh, device. Um, so, there you go.
any more information, you guys can uh, go ahead and shoot me a message uh, again on YouTube here or any other um, website I'm broadcasting this message. You take care, and uh, thank you for uh, watching my review. See ya.